Hey guys and welcome towards the scale. So this is going to be one of the better videos that I have produced so far, if I may say so myself, and I don't say that often. The name of the game of course is GBD4 Plugins, and I have come up with an amazing SEO workflow that uh, does everything, outlining OSI keywords, article, and then optimizes the uh, and result with NLP keywords. So this is a crude overview of the process. <laughs> Let's just assume you have your keyword ready and you can watch my keyword research videos if you are uncertain of how to get your keywords. Then the process is as follows. You first look at the top performing URLs for your keywords and our keyword is going to be Kendoxid Longan. So URL 123. Then we create the outline based on those URLs. Then what I like to do and what I recommend you do is go on YouTube and uh, watch similar videos that are with a lot of views and high engagement. YouTube video one, YouTube video two, YouTube video three, you get your insights. And then you ask ChatGPT to complement the original outline with these insights. And this way you get the PO, which is which stands for perfect outline. So this is step number three. Then you get your LSI keywords and based on these perfect outline and LSI keywords, you get your draft. So this is not a finished product, this is a draft article. Then you enrich that draft with NLP and LSI and you get a very high score in NeuroWriter. So this is the idea and let's see if we can actually achieve that within ChatGPT. So this is a prompt and I'll be using the Vox script and the web pilot. And I will be guiding you through the whole process, but let's just hit enter for now. So the first part of the prompt has web pilot scan these three URLs, which are occupying the top positions in Google for the keyword. And we can see that the plugin is working and it's, uh, it's actually very easy to see if this is working. So it's trying to read the first URL. Okay. Now to the second URL. And you can stop the screen to get the prompt or you can go to my uh, prompts library. Okay. URL number two, success. And URL number three. And it's trying to retrieve the results once again, and it's succeeding. Okay, so the second part, part of the prompt is to basically look at these three URLs and create a perfect outline that has all the pros and cons of each of the outline minus the duplicates. So I'm asking it to remove duplicate information. Now, ChatGPT is going to Vox scripts, and again, if you want to uh, the correct usage of the plugins, you just name them within your prompt. And the beauty of this plugin is that it searches based on the keyword. So the prompt was find three most viewed videos about fruits and dogs. And this is actually correct. So if we go to this URL here, we can see that this video has a lot of views, 290,000 views. So this is correct information. This is not hallucinated or made up. And basically, Vox scripts uh, found these three URLs, and now ChatGPT is complementing the original outline with the new insights. And now it's saying this is your final outline. So if we are following the process, we have done this. Then we looked at YouTube, and now ChatGPT is creating the perfect outline here. Okay, now I'm asking. WebPilot to scan the three, the above three URLs once again and extract OSI keywords. And people on YouTube are using Wolfram and Wolfram is outright say it cannot do OSI keywords and the results are subpar. So I kind of hacked the harper.ai prompt and I think this is a much better use of OSI keywords. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're asking ChatGPT to extract 12 main keywords that contain two words and more. And then for each of those 12 keywords, you're asking to get OSI to give uh, you different OSI combinations. So I think this is a better approach to OSI than just asking Wolfram. So now we're here at the OSI stage. And once it's done with the OSI, 
the AI will actually write an outline, a draft article based on the perfect outline and the LSI keywords using markdown formatting. So this is again not going to be your finished product, but this is to be like a midway between outline and the final article. And I have my new rewrite ready. So for those of you playing at home, I have pre-populated title and description, as you do. So now we are moving to the draft stage, and once the draft is ready, I'll paste it to NeuroWriter, and I'll show you a very neat trick of semi-automating the NLP and LSI keyword stuffing. Okay, looks like we need to continue. I was kind of, kind of hoping it would do it in one go, because <laughs> it did that in my previous uh, iterations, but oh well. Bummer! Okay, and now it's saying which keywords uh, it has used. Okay, let's start pasting this into the neural writer. Minus the continue prompt. Okay, let's just delete that right now. So a little bit of formatting, and this is it. Okay, what? 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 <laughs> the guys, this is this is insane. So the score is sixty-five, and we have we haven't even done anything, and the word count is sixty-six hundred. Um, wow, I did not expect that, and see a lot of greens and yellows. But now to make things worse, <laughs> so to speak, I will show you a very nice trick that may not many people talk about within your writer. So just uh, click between the last H2 and the conclusion, go to AI writing, then advanced, advanced, and choose the FAQ with a use term. So what this is going to do is write an FAQ section using all the unused terms. So this is going to be crazy and I cannot wait for the result actually. Okay, this is our FAQ. <laughs> so the um, SEO score is 77, guys, 77. Uh, so we are beating the best uh, optimized article by, by 14 points. This is insane. And we haven't, again, we haven't really started writing anything and we are already way over the... Uh, way up there in the green zone. So I truly think this is one of the uh, craziest workflows that I have personally come up with. I'm sure you will uh, get some crazy ideas yourselves. And I invite you to play around with the plugins. Again, just draft what you want to achieve, then name each plugin within the sequence of the prompt and enjoy the results. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.